So I'm working on my VCE Year 12 film, and I thought I'd give colour grading a go. So I click the colour panel in Premiere and... Shit. So, a year on, with much self-teaching, I will now explain how to read scopes. I'll explain how to use them in later videos. Scopes are measurements of luminescence and chrominance in an image. And what the hell does that mean? Colour is displayed on a screen, using red, green and blue subpixels. Together they combine to make a pixel and display a shade or colour. Shades of grey and white and black are combinations of red, green and blue at an equal level whereas different colours are made with an unequal combination of red, green, and blue. These colours match the three colour receptors in the human eye which give us colour vision. And that's the end of the science portion of this video because I'm an art student. Luminescence refers to how bright a pixel is, and chrominance refers to colour data. Chrominance consists of hue values and saturation values. Hue defines what colour and is measured using a hue angle. Saturation defines how much of said colour there is. It is essentially a 3D coordinate system for determining what colour or shade a pixel can display using a combination of red, green and blue values. How does this translate into scopes? Firstly, we have the RGB parade, a representation of red, green and blue luminescence channels of an image from left to right. Shades of grey are balanced, whereas colours are not. 0% means the channel is off, 100% means it is fully on, completely on, 100% on. Second, we have the waveform. It is essentially the RGB parade smushed into one graph. All values equal to or greater than 100 are at 100% luminescence, and all below or equal to zero are at 0% luminescence. If all three channels at either end of the spectrum, 0% or 100%, they form black and white respectively. Thirdly, we have the YUV vector scope, a representation of chrominance. This represents the entire visible image colour makeup. It maps what colours are present in the image on a colour wheel. Closer to the centre equals less saturation, and further away equals more saturation. These boxes here represent 75% saturation, and everything within this range is broadcast safe, i.e. good for TV. These boxes represent 100% saturation. This is the skin tone line where skin tones sit. I will cover this in more detail in a later video. Finally, we have the histogram. Personally, I don't use it very frequently as I feel the waveform fulfills the histogram's job in a greater detail, but the histogram is a reading of the entire image. Every single pixel's data is mapped into one super detailed bar chart. Zero means the colour channel is off, and 255 means it is at 100% luminescence. In Premiere, the grey designates where RGB channels are equal. Yellow, cyan, cyan, and pink where there's two channel crossover, and red, green, and blue where there's one channel dominant. This tool is useful for quickly gauging exposure and is more common in cameras than the waveform monitor. And that's the end of this video on how to read scopes. In my next video, I will cover actually using them in a practical sense. And in later videos, I hope to cover skin tone correction and other cheeky tips that I've learned. If you have any comments, questions, or corrections, leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to respond or put an annotation up in the video if it's something's wrong. Cheers.